update on the inhaler situation. So I went to the doctor again, doctor number four, and this dude gave me a prescription for uh, not this. Well, he gave me a prescription for this. This is the one that you use in emergency situations. The other one is called QVAR. I think it's like 80 bucks or 90 bucks. I think I said before it was 180. They're 80 or 90 a piece. So still expensive. I made a mistake. The doctor suggested going to like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, somewhere else. I'm like, oh, cool, so maybe I can afford them. He gives me a prescription, and every single pharmacy I went to all said they don't take Kaiser uh, prescriptions. I don't get it. How is it so difficult to get a couple inhalers? Like, I only have... So, they didn't want to give me this either. They said that it was too soon. So, they want to limit the amount of these that they give out. This is called Ventolin. They don't want to give out too many prescriptions. I guess they want to monitor the use. I don't understand why or what he meant by that. But they don't want to give me another one. So this, so, and this is where I'm like, I wanted to pull my hair out. This is for emergency situations. The nurse, she said, are you only using it for emergency situations? I consider not being able to breathe every single time is an emergency situation. She looked at me like I was weird. A buddy of mine needed this uh, cream for his skin. And he went to Mexico. He went to Tijuana and got it for like five bucks for a tube. I can get this Ventolin and the Q-Bar both in Mexico for like 90% cheaper. So I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but I don't care. I want to breathe every day.